it was when I was about 13 in 1979 that I got into punk rock, uh, or at least exposed, started buying some stuff because, you know, me and my friend Roger, who wound up being in Diagnosty with me, we would go to the record stores and we were really into Kiss. And then we got into Cheap Trick and The Runaways, and we thought Cheap Trick and The Runaways might be a little punk. And uh, the guys at the record store were, uh, you know, we used to go to, we're like, well, you might want to check out The Clash or The Buzzcocks or some of these other things if you kind of think The Runaways are cool. record I bought uh, a bunch of new wave stuff like sort of Joe Jackson that that was something I was very into the, the first record and I think so the fall of 1979 right as I was starting it would have been eighth no was it seventh no eighth grade um, I went one week I saw Joe Jackson and then like two weeks later I think it was the clash on their tour, whatever that tour was, at Richie Coliseum at University of Maryland, and uh, Roger, my friend Roger, we're still friends, uh, we came and I think like seeing those shows just sort of like got us into punk rock. <laughs> into punk rock and trying to see you know whatever besides the mainstream stuff coming through like the stranglers i think i remember going to the stranglers that winter that spring and uh with roger also and then you know we were in a record store and actually danny ingram who was the drummer of youth brigade in dc and i'm not sure if he was in youth brigade at the time or if they were about to start i think they were around and so he was like, oh, you should buy this Teen Idols 7-inch. Yeah, it's a local thing. It's really cool. Like, you guys are buying this other, you know, mainstream punk. You should check out the local stuff. And so we bought the Teen Idols 7-inch and maybe the SOA 7-inch. And then, and I remember just being like, oh, this is really cool. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, you know, underground college radio station at the at Mount Holyoke College. Like, you know, probably uh, the reception, you know, to maybe capture a couple miles or, you know, to spread the, the, the airwaves a couple miles. But at that time, there was also this wonderful record store in Western Massachusetts in Northampton called Main Street Records. And the owner and the guys who worked there just were ultra knowledgeable, tons of seven inches and all this stuff. And it was still, I was still in the like punk new wave, anything sort of, you know, edgier, you know, I think at that time probably the Buzzcocks were my favorite. 